All right, so this is going to be how you install the Gamma and Anomaly together. If you already have an Anomaly installed or an Anomaly save, uh, just delete it. So if you feel comfortable, that way you can create a whole new set of Anomaly all together. Uh, but you can't use an old save. So first thing you're going to do is go to the Discord, the Gamma Discord. Uh, if you don't have it, if you're not already in it, you can just Google it. Uh, but here's where you get all the resources. So 7-Zip, make sure you have that. Install it. Run in the exe in your downloads uh, folder to make sure that that gets installed. Then you're going to need Anomaly 1.51 and the 1.52 patch. So click both these links and download them. And then you'll need the client and the add-ons pack. So make sure you click one of these links and then one of these links and get both those as well. In the end, um, do not create different drives, root drives uh, for these games. When you extract them through their instructions, you'll already be doing that. So uh, it can get confusing. You also don't need to disable your antivirus, or at least I did not. Um, so here, once these are installed, they should look like this. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the Anomaly 1.512, so like the main Anomaly game. You're going to go to the 7-zip option and extract files. So here, all you're going to do is put in the root. Um, nothing else. And this will take a little bit of time. So now that we've moved that over, we're going to use 7-zip to extract it into that anomaly folder. And then we're going to click yes to all because we're patching all the old files over with the new ones. All right, so once that is done, you should see changes 151 to 152 under the anomaly folder. might show up down here. Um, for me, it does because I sort by folders. Um, but for you, it might show up between like bin and db up here. But just make sure that it is there. <clears throat> so now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to open up Anomaly and just get an initialization. So use DirectX 11 because that's what Gamma uses uh, just to make sure everything's aligned. And then you're going to hit play. They can just go ahead and close the game out. All right, so now we're going to install the Gamma client using that, uh, not the add-ons, downloads, but the client RC3. So we're going to use 7-zip and extract files, and then we're just going to put the root. So same thing as we did with the anomaly. Uh, for me, that's my E drive. All right, now we're going to go find that in our drive. Gamma RC3 is what it should say. We're going to open that up. And now our next step is going to be grabbing that add-ons and downloads, and then we're just going to drop it into Gamma RC3. So we're not extracting it yet, we're just dropping the zip file. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go in Gamma RC3 and we're going to extract here. So look for that Gamma add-ons and downloads where you just dropped it. Right click, 7-zip, and then extract here. And I'll just drop all those files where they should go. So you'll get data errors, that's totally okay. So now uh, you're just going to go ahead and close that out. Open up downloads and make sure all that stuff is in there. So now we're going to open up Grox mod pack installer, right click the game installer and then run as administrator. And then hit yes. And now we're going to do all these things in order. 
So we're going to start with the allow PowerShell scripts. Check to make sure that it says it is now allowed. Launch MO2. You'll get an error message. Move that out of the way. Click OK. And then now browse and look for the anomaly folder. So not gamma, but anomaly. And then once you're there, you're just going to select it. Uh, I hit no for the tutorials. And then that should load up. Uh, you can close this out right here. I just minimize it. So I'm just reorganizing all these windows. Uh, and then you can look over here, check, make sure you're doing everything right. Uh, again, you don't actually need that C anomaly. It'll be anomaly 1.52 or 1.2 after you uh, extract it originally. So now we are going to download Gamma Data. So you've done the first two options, now you're going to download. And this can take some time. Okay, it will say installing mod pack definition data. You are not done when the white box goes away. You have to wait for the client to say done in that little terminal beneath. So once that box goes away, it looks like it's done. It is not. Do not yet hit full gamma installation, otherwise it will break. So now it says done. And we can now uh, move up and click on full gamma installation. So here you'll see it uh, unpacking and working on all those different download files. Occasionally you will see like its own download, something that wasn't originally included by the devs in the download pack. Uh, so as long as you have forced GitHub downloads checked in that top right, it should automatically download and install all those ones that are missing. So this process will take quite some time. So after that's all finished, I'm just going to fast forward over here. You should see a gamma icon on your desktop now. So this is going to be where you launch the game from. It should open up this familiar thing. So here, uh, just make sure you have the active mods. You want like 336 of them. And on the right side, um, where it says Anomaly Launcher, you're going to want to change that actually to Anomaly DX11 AVX because that is what Gamma uses. Then you're going to click Run. And you may get a black screen compiling shaders. It may take a few minutes to launch the game originally. That's perfectly normal. Now that you're in the game, uh, you can go ahead and either get started. For me, my settings are usually a little bit twisted, so I go into the settings, um, change my resolution to 2560 by 1440, do whatever you need to do, and then click New Game. As long as everything is there, all the options for different modes, uh, you should be good to go.